New Zealand African Knockout Championship uh, in Abuja featured pound for pound boxing bouts uh, featuring the best African boxers. There were Nigeria's Sheg Gunaiki, uh, known as the machine gun Shegs, and won a knockout in the first round against Ivory Coast uh, Yao Marcel and uh, Nigeria's uh, Venetia's uh, Inogolu and also Melvin Uguchuku also competed in trailing matches. The women's uh, uh, bantam weight category saw Teresa Ajiboyo win over Ivory Coast uh, Amen and uh, Kosi. And Morocco's uh, Fout Yusuf also defeated Kenya's Victor Andari in the trailing Fredo with uh, March. The championship aims to prepare young African talent for top international championships. Our aim is to actually prepare those guys to reach on the same international uh, uh, level of Camaro and Israel. Uh, starting this platform was, again, because of the need that we found in Africa for the African talents to be able to be exposed to the world and show uh, what, what we have on ground. I mean, Africa is, uh, is rich not only in natural resources, but mainly in, in people. And uh, what we uh, miss in mixed martial arts in particular was the events that are done on this scale, uh, we broadcast live in 46 African countries. We have a big reach uh, abroad to our, our streaming. And uh, we uh, just uh, had one of our African knockout uh, fighters from uh, DRC, Congo, uh, Josias Musasa, who was uh, just signed to Dana White Contender Series in the States. He is fighting in September. And if he wins his fight, he gets directly a contract in the UFC. So this is exactly the success story that African Knockout is trying to promote, uh, where we can showcase again our talents and expose them to the world where we can get them on the highest stages. The uh, boxers uh, also uh, spoke on the tournament. Maintenant que j'ai gagné mon combat, ils m'ont bien soutenu, ils m'ont bien encouragé. Je l'ai aimé beaucoup, j'ai aimé beaucoup cette organisation. Inshallah, je serai le champion de cette organisation. So I really feel good from the time I put my, my three feet on the line. People was nice, they always supported me. And even during my fight, I hear the crowd was shouting for every good takedown or work I did. So I'm very, very happy and thank for God for this organization because it was great. Actually, I did my best tonight. I did my best. I put in everything, but it's not my fault. It is what it is. So I still give thanks to God. But what I want to say is that I'm coming back strong, better, and powerful again. So that is it. Right now, I need to sharpen up my, my striking, my grappling, and everything. Like, no time to sleep anymore, no time to do. I have to train more harder because the game is getting more tougher. So I have to train more harder, more harder. And I'm coming back strong and better again. Today it was due to hard work dedication. I was focused and I stayed put. So I would also like to thank God because without him, without the glory of the Lord, I won't make it. So today I'm really happy. I'm really happy. So it was good to hard work. I've knew right from the beginning that she would be my opponent. So I'm waiting for her. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.